Hey everyone, Sam McKay here from Enterprise DNA. I just wanted to, in this video, really just show you how incredible the key influences visualization is inside of Power BI. Recently, I was doing a, a webinar and um, it was sort of like a freestyle uh, webinar. We ended up deciding to analyze some health information to understand, to almost predict how um, the likelihood of someone's um, either passing away or surviving based on a whole range of biomarkers uh, that the the data set had on a, on a per person basis and so we worked you know, for most of the the, the webinar the live uh, the live event working through lots of different analysis and towards the end someone mentioned let's use the key influences visualization to check out um, to check out these results and I was absolutely blown away by the results Okay, and so I want to just show you some of the um, great insights we were able to find really without having to do much at all. It was absolutely incredible. So the, the actual visualization does all the hard work for you for this type of analysis. So just looking at the, the, the data set just quickly here. So we had patient information and we had a whole, so per patient, we had a whole lot of um, details about that patient. Um, did they have anemia, a creatine? I can't even pronounce that word, but um, what, what, whatever that stands for, diabetes, uh, ejection, fraction, high blood pressure. So just like as, as we move along this list, um, and so it's got smoking as well, uh, as we move along here, this really just gives you all the details about, you know, someone as they, uh, when they took all these tests, right? And so we were trying to um, configure things using X and Y um, diagrams to sort of see if there's any trends, etc. But then when we looked at the key influences tab, it actually... <laughs> did all of the regression, all of the calculation, all of the probability just automatically for us. Absolutely incredible. And this is just some of the, and I, I, I actually see this as sort of just the beginning of ways that you can create incredible insights in Power BI. I'm sure there's so many other visualizations, so many things in the pipeline that will just be able to automate all of this insight for you, which is incredible. And the fact, um, maybe we can test this out on this uh, during the video is we can always, always also use the Q&A potentially to actually run this. So pretty, pretty incredible. So what we had here, um, we had actually within the patient info data set, we actually had the data, did they survive or not, right? So did they pass away or did they survive? So we actually had that data point. And so what we wanted to do here is we really wanted to drill into, okay, well, um, based on all the averages of these um, uh, the, the details on a on a patient basis, what was the likelihood that someone passed away, right? And so, and one of the other key things that we we self calculated is we actually create we actually generated a score based on all of the true and false uh, readings that uh, were in the data set. So, was were they a smoker? Were they an, had, did they have anemia? Did they have diabetes? Did they have high blood pressure? So, these are the things that didn't actually have like a a physical result. It was kind of kind of more like a true true or a false answer. And so, um, if you added all of those up, that would equal to two. If they were all of those things, and they were you know the higher the higher the rating, the um, the higher the uh, the higher the health score, um, it would generally suggest you're less healthy right because you've got all of these things now so we calculated that and we first of all wanted to see okay well um, and this automatically created when we set this all up right so we had the death event so we wanted to see okay well what happens for, to these particular results when you have a uh, when you either uh, pass away or you survive okay and so what clearly stood out very quickly was that um, those who passed away or, you know, or, almost always um, had a higher uh, higher a higher average health score right which makes total sense um, and if, if they survived they had a, a, a lower um, a lower health score right so the average um, is it showing up here no it's not um, but the it looks like the average here is 1.39 um, but you'll see here that there's a lot more um, passed away than there is um, uh, is not and and the great thing is is that you can actually click through here so um, what we have here is we have the ability to have a look and say, okay, well, if the health score, like, okay, let's just look at health score here. Okay, so health score um, was on average 1.61 for those who passed away and health score was 1.48 for those who, um, who survived, okay? 
and it gives you details about how many patients are in each one as well if you just quickly go over that tooltip so it's pretty cool and so what we got here is we just layered on all of these um, sort of averages right so we we wanted to calculate the average per patient and then what you can do in this visualization is you can see very quickly a key piece of insight. So it says if the serum, serum creatine goes up 1.03, so I think that has something to do with the heart, something like that, then the likelihood of, of a death beam being passed away increases by 2.4 times. So, and by the way, I did not have to calculate any of this. This is all done within this, with this, within this visualization. And so you can sort of get a really quick feel like for um for these particular results what what makes a big difference for you know if you pass away or not and so, so if someone comes in and you get all these results you can actually give them a pretty fair estimate of how things are going to work out for them right and this is you know this is this is an interesting one being used in a health situation but you know this could equally be uh used very effectively in any situation like a customer database a sales database a um a time time uh, like some sort of like operational data set and there's plenty of different um uses for this now that i've like really had my mind open around what's possible so let's say okay so here's another one so average blood pressure right so if I, if average blood pressure goes up 0.48 you have a 1.16 times chance of 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 passing away based on this particular data set and you can also flip this around. So say we want to actually maybe look at it more from a survivor perspective. Um, you can basically do a quick switch and you say, what's the likelihood of surviving? Um, and so if you're, if, and you could, you could do this, you could actually tell the patient, right? You can just say, if you're, if this particular level goes down 1.3, you have a 2.4 times less likelihood of um, passing away than if, than if you didn't, right? Same, same for these ones. And now the other great thing about this is the versatility. So I could actually come in here instead of death events, say we wanted to actually look at it by age, right? We wanted to analyze things by age. Well, actually, maybe age bands is a better um, a better way to look at this. We can very quickly sub in and sub out key dimensions to be able to analyze, you know, what what is the particular result based on. Okay, so let's go down to our um, creatine levels. So if they go down by 968, you have a 1%. 0.03 x chance of surviving not surviving um well actually where, whether this is actually relevant is is, is is sort of just giving you um an estimate of like who are you what age band you're in um so probably the 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 event you want to analyze is, is really the outcome right that the outcome so the the most um relevant one to use here would be death event for sure um because this is what we're all trying to um, we're trying to see what the influences are to this particular key insight, to this key event, this key um, piece of um, uh, this key data point, right? So anything that is sort of like machine learning uh, type analysis where you're trying to solve for something, this is this is a fantastic way to do that. You can also um, come into top segments here. And so say, for example, um, we wanted to, to analyze, you know, and this is incredible too, we want to say, okay, well, What's there's a there's a hundred percent segment. So if your serum creatine is greater than one point eight and is less than two, you have a hundred percent chance um, that the death event is passed away, which is sixty eight percentage points higher than average. Crazy, right? Um, and then say we wanted to go to seventy five percent, and this sort of gives you your levels, right? Incredible stuff, like absolutely incredible. If your serum creatine is greater than two, you have a 61% chance of passing away. Amazing. Yeah, really, really quite amazing stuff. And imagine, imagine this in a, in a sort of sales environment or, um, uh, you know, what, what, are, what are some things that you're like, a, maybe like a, um, um, analyzing if your customers will buy or analyzing the churn um, of your customers? Um, you're trying to analyze a whole range of really interesting things um, can be done utilizing this this, this particular um, this particular visualization so yeah really recommend having a, a much deeper dive into this um, I really enjoyed uh, working through this particular data set because it was just purpose built for this type of visualization um, you can you can work in and around this visualization to maybe dive into specific insights here so you know if you really wanted to we could um, 
uh, create another visualization which looks at every individual's um, levels here, right? And we could um, bring in, say, like our patient um, patient ID somewhere in here. And turn this into a visualization like so. And you could also, you know, match it out to um, details um, like this. This isn't sort of as clear as I would have liked it, but there's there's other ways that you can sort of visualize the information once you have a much clearer idea of what the inside actually is, right? And yeah, you know, maybe we want to actually change this around a little bit. Um, yeah, and you can actually compare compare some of these right together, right? And look for look for trends in the data this way. So many different ways that you could eventually um, showcase things, but this is a this is a great starting point. Okay, that's all I want to show today. Um, hopefully you enjoy this one. Enjoy looking through this data set and downloading this resource if you have access to our platform. Um, it's a really good one to have a look through. Okay, until next time. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the content covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.